As developers, we all crave a streamlined, AI-enhanced workflow, right? Well, I want a full-stack development environment, but entirely in the cloud. Google's Project IDX delivers just that. I gave it a try this week, and I am blown away. Let me show you. So here I am at idx.dev. It's designed for full-stack developers, always in sync with your team, and boosted with AI and entirely in cloud. Now, Project IDX streamlines the development workflow so you can build and ship applications across platforms with speed, ease, and quality. So let's get started here and see how it delivers all this. We are on the landing page, a web-based development workspace that I can get to directly from idx.google.com. Now to get started, I see some templates here. For the web app, we have common frameworks for web development. For backend, we have Go, Python, Flash, Django, Node, and more. And then for mobile development, we have Flutter. For AI and ML, we have Gemini API, Langchain, and Firebase GenKit. For our demo, I am going to choose Langchain with Gemini in AI and ML. Give it a name. I'm going with a Python Flask application. Give it a few seconds to create. I'm going to make it a bit bigger to see while it is still executing the necessary commands to download and install the packages and dependencies. Now that everything is installed, let's look at our index.html. And I see right away my front end with three images of baked items and we ask Gemini to provide the recipe for the selected baked good. When I hit go, we get an error. Uh-oh. <laughs> we need a Gemini API key to be added to main.py file. Now I'm going to get that key from the provided link, which essentially takes me to AI Studio, where I select a project and create the key. Easy. Get back into my code, main.py, edit the to-do to update the Gemini API key. And with that, we are ready to give it a try again. And there we go, the recipe to make blueberry scones. Pretty detailed with ingredients and instructions. Now, let's edit the prompt a bit. I want to know how nutritious this cupcake is and want it broken down in terms of macronutrients. The truth, it's not very nutritious, high in sugar and fat and low in protein and fiber. Break down the calories, 20 gram fats, 50 gram carbs, which equates to about 180 calories from fat and 200 from carbs. Overall, not nutritious. Let's say we are happy with this app and it's decent for what we want to do and we don't want to make any more edits. Let's deploy it. We have options for deployment. We can deploy directly into Google Cloud in Cloud Run, or we can deploy to Firebase. One more thing, we also have access to Gemini Code Assist here to help speed up our coding and development. I can select the code, ask it to explain the code line by line, and it tells me that it's a code that sets up a web server with static files and provides an API endpoint for generation of tests using Langchain and Google generative AI libraries. Well, that is exactly what this code is doing. All right, I am very excited and impressed by Project IDX's capabilities here. It streamlines the development workflow so we can build and ship applications across platforms integrated with cloud to deploy easily and comes with AI assistance for faster coding. It seems promising. I am excited for you to give it a try and share what you think in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more AI and cloud content.